we are getting a closer look at new video of a miraculous rescue in northwest Indiana just after Christmas. A man had been trapped in his truck under a bridge for almost a week before being found. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli is joining us now with more on that rescue. Well, good evening to you both. The 27-year-old driver that was saved from that wreckage continues to recover from his injuries. And thanks to footage from officers' body cameras, we're now seeing those moments right after he was found under an overpass. A crash report we also just obtained, shedding some light into what may have led up to all of this. Hang on, buddy. You stay there. We got medics coming, okay? Don't worry about nothing. For more than an hour, it was those voices of first responders reassuring Matt Ream that after six days trapped in a mangled mess of metal, he was no longer alone. Just trying to get at you, man. The 27-year-old from Mishawaka found in his pickup truck under the I-94 bridge near Portage, surviving on rainwater and an unwavering will to survive. It's a story many argue is nothing short of miraculous, including officers on scene. I've never seen something like this before, ever. The call coming in just around 3.40 in the afternoon, one day after Christmas. He's conscious, breathing. A late gift, perhaps, from two fishermen, Mario Garcia and his son-in-law, catching something even bigger than what they were looking for. I'm Mario. I'm the one that found them. State police troopers, Portage firefighters, and officers from several departments, including Portage police, rushing to the scene, trekking through tough terrain to reach Ream. Go ahead and pull your left arm inside the vehicle for me. The circumstances of what led up to all of this still not entirely clear. Officers at the scene working to sort that out. I'm not sure uh, he went down, rolled over, the debris over there, he ended up coming to rest over here. An Indiana State Police crash report revealing Ream sharing some of those possible details with troopers days later. It reads, quote, driver one stated as he was traveling on I-94 near the 20.2 mile marker that there was possibly a deer in the roadway. Driver one stated that he swerved to the right to avoid striking the deer. Footage from body cameras worn by Portage police officers showing the daunting rescue. First responders pulling together to help pull Reem out. I need one of you to stand here and hold an ID bag. I can do that. Daylight fading into darkness with the rescue continuing for more than an hour and 15 minutes. One, two, three. Pulling him out, firefighters telling Reem to remember to breathe. His response, a moment of humor and levity after nearly a week of wondering whether anyone would find him. Just don't take my pulse right now and probably scare you. <laughs> Pretty incredible despite everything he had been through. Now on his social media, Reem has been sharing updates and his gratitude for all the support. The most recent one just yesterday from the hospital in it saying he's learning to walk again, but with some help. He's also learning new challenges like going up a ramp or stepping onto the curb. The 27 year old had part of his leg amputated, but reminding viewers tomorrow is a new day. Quite a message, Micah and Wright. Thank you, Courtney.